Assalamualaikum to Dr. Intan and Prof. Abu. First, I would like to introduce our group member which is Liana, Atirah, Aina and Alia. We are going to present regarding composite testing and critical analysis of literature review. We are choosing to use continuous or short fiber as our parameter. A fiber polymer composite causes continuous and short fiber suspended in matrix material. Both continuous fiber and short can be identified from a geometric viewpoint. Composite material, particularly lightweight composite structure, are used in a wide range of product and application, including aerospace, building, ground transportation, and environmentally sustainable energy system, all of which require extensive mechanical and physical testing of composite material components and structure before use such as tensile and impact tests. Tensile testing is a destructive test method that reveals the details about the metallic material tensile strength, heat strength, and ductility, while therapy impact tests measure the energy absorbed by a standard noise specimen while breaking under any impact load. Next is the problem statement. The fibers must be perfectly aligned to achieve the desired properties and any misalignment can weaken the composite. Continuous fiber have the high tensile strength but lower impact test because fiber are aligned in the direction of the load while discontinuous fiber have lower tensile strength but high impact resistance. There are three objectives of this project. Firstly, is to differentiate the difference between short and continuous fiber polymer composite and the impact and tensile test. Secondly, to determine the mechanical properties of the short and continuous fiber polymer composite using impact and tensile test. Lastly, to obtain the effect of short and continuous fiber polymer composite on the impact and tensile test. According to previous study, all of them are tested to both the impact and tensile test. The first article is in 2018 by Arun Paras and others, which is evaluation of mechanical properties on banyak fiber reinforced polymer metric composite using FEA. In order to analyze the mechanical properties, tensile and impact testing are used. The specimen is prepared in accordance with ASTM standards. The research shows that random orientation composite have better mechanical properties to unidirectional orientation composite and plain glass. Specifically, it has greater tensile strength, weight carrying capacity and strain under load conditions. The second article compares the mechanical properties of random orientation fiber reinforced polymer composite with different fiber volume percentage. The research used tensile, bending, hardness and impact tests. In terms of tensile strength and modulus of elasticity, the unidirectional fiber reinforced composite outperformed the random orientation fiber reinforced composite. On the other hand, the random orientation fiber reinforced composite was stronger and more durable when heat. In the third article, the authors of the study titled Mechanical Characteristic of Hybrid Glass Fiber Rice Husk Reinforced Polymer Composite explain the testing of a hybrid composite material comprised of glass fiber and rice husk reinforced with a polymer. The material undergoes both tensile and impact testing. The hybrid composite material were better to those of the separate glass fiber and rice husk reinforced polymer composite. The fourth article by Lokesh and others, a study on the mechanical properties of bamboo fiber reinforced polymer composite, investigate the mechanical behavior of short treat and untreat bamboo fiber reinforced epoxy based composite. Bamboo fiber reinforced polymer composite showed higher strength and elastic modulus in the tensile strength compared to the control samples. Various tests such as tensile testing and impact testing are commonly used to evaluate the mechanical properties of composite materials. These tests are used to understand the composite material performance under various loading conditions and to compare its performance to that other materials. In fabricating polymer composites, many processes can be chosen according to the type of fiber, whether continuous or short. The figure in this slide shows the processing techniques of polymer-based composites. Each process for continuous and short fiber has open mold and closed mold processes which differ in terms of procedures, costs and qualities. In choosing the best processing method, several factors need to be considered such as the size and shape of resultant composite and constituents, manufacturing constraints of fibers and matrix, and manufacturing costs. A tensile test for polymer matrix composite can be performed according to two standards, ASTM D638, which is the standard tensile test for plastic, and ASTM D3039, which is the standard tensile test for polymer matrix composite. However, ASTM D3039 is recommended for highly oriented or high 
tensile modulus fiber reinforced polymer composites. ASTM D638 is suitable for ranelium oriented uh, discontinuous malleable low reinforcement volume or composites with a modulus of tensile less than 3 MSI. Thus, ASTM D3039 is a more suitable standard to choose to study the tensile strength of the continuous and short fibers. An impact test can be performed according to two standards, ASTM D256 and ASTM D6110. ASTM D256 is a standard test method for determining the isoid pendulum impact resistance of plastic. At the same time, ASTM D6110 explains the standard test method for determining the Sharpie impact resistance of notch specimens of plastic. The ISO impact test and the Charpy impact test differs in several aspects. Regarding the specimen position, ISO impact testing holds the sample upright with the notch side towards the pendulum. In contrast, the sample is held horizontally during Charpy impact testing with the notch facing away from the pendulum. The table above explains the differences between ASTM D256 and ASTM D6110 in detail. Particularly, ASTM D6110 is more suitable for testing metals with the type of notches U notch and V notch. The specimen dimension is also a little different as the isot meets a larger specimen to test compared to the Charpy test. For results and discussion, we compare four results from four different journals. All experiments use polymer composite of different types. For A, B, C, and D, they use glass fiber polypropylene, metal fiber reinforced polyester, basal fiber reinforced polyester, and jute fiber reinforced epoxy, respectively, but with different length of fiber. The pattern of the results near the same. For A, long fiber with diameter of 19 micrometer has the highest tensile strength. Meanwhile, as you can see, B, fiber length of 15 millimeter get the highest strength while 20 millimeter fiber length show decreasing in its length. From result B, it was clearly evident that further increase in the weight percentage of the composite tends to decrease in the mechanical strength of the metal fiber reinforced composites. It is due to poor fiber matrix addition inside the composites and also the number of voids increasing with increasing the weight percentage of the metal fiber content in the composites. So the fiber pull out tend to occur as pitch has shown. Lastly, results for C and D give the same trend. What we can conclude from the results, length of composites affect the tensile strength. Hypothesis seen here, when the length of composite increase, then the tensile strength also increase. Next, for the impact test also, all results converging to one hypothesis which is impact strength increase when the length of fiber increase. So from this observation, we get that continuous fiber has higher strength compared to short fiber. Tensile strength is the resistance of material to breaking under tension, while impact strength of a material is defined as its capability to resist a sudden applied load or force. So the most important criteria of the composite material is its strength to weight ratio. So to optimize this strength of the material, continuous fiber should be considered. Because of its mechanical strength, continuous fiber usually used for automotive and aerospace parts. Even though short fiber are more easier and cheaper to produce than continuous fiber, but it is less effective in improving strength. Plus, shorter fiber length will result in more fiber ends which act as stress concentration locations and uh, more, more frequently the sites of failure. In conclusion, there are apparent differences between mechanical properties of short and continuous fibers. With longer reinforcing fibers or a more significant aspect ratio, uh, the long fiber composites have increased strength, allowing them to end their deformation and resist creep under heavy load. The more remarkable aspect ratio of the reinforcement in long fiber composites uh, can promote efficient energy transfer between the polymer and fiber upon impact, resulting in more outstanding durability. However, it is essential to preserve maximal fiber length by controlling uh, the processing parameters meticulously. Uh, as example, shear in the injection molding press or tight runner radar 
and poor getting can cause uh, fiber length attrition. That's all for us. Thank you.